Welcome back, y'all, to the Clinical Cookout. We starting off with our hot sauce, and it's getting saucy today. So uh, I got a personal situation I want to bring up uh, that's about energy. So over the weekend, I was somewhere uh, celebrating a birthday, and a person that I used to deal with uh, a few months ago or six months ago was uh, in the room. I didn't know they were there. But the last time we saw each other, things were not good. Or the last time we spoke to each other, things were not good. So basically, he he brought some energy that uh, basically if I saw him again, I was going to match it. But I decided not to because, you know, a girl got credentials. A girl got a job in the future. So I'm wondering from the aunties, do you match people's energy, good or bad? Hmm. I definitely try to match good energy. Good energy. I mean, I'm a big believer that energy energy is transferred. Like if you walk in a space and the energy is offered or negative, you're gonna start to feel it. You're gonna start to feel that. It's good energy, you'll feel that. So I'm all for matching good energy, but when it comes to that that toxic negative type of energy, <laughs> uh it depends for me. Like in your situation, I wouldn't have matched energy because time had passed. It's not it's like time passed. So I don't know. Yeah, I won't see should see shut up. <laughs> time passes and I may not match energy but if time hasn't passed or it's one of those situations where it's bad enough to be on site I'm matching energy even if time passed I'm iffy about this one too because I can be petty but like it's with the important people in my life if you're not important to me I'm not going to worry about matching your energy if it's negative then I just I naturally just like walk away from it, essentially. But um, yeah, so if time passes and it's somebody that's important to me, it's probably still going to bother me. Like if they're still in my life and I see them all the time, talk to them all the time. But if it's somebody like that, dude, like I don't need to see you. I don't need to talk to you. You're not that important. So I don't need to match your energy in this situation. Like it ain't even worth my mental health to do that. Even if he was disrespectful, like because dude was disrespectful. Like and y'all know I don't play that. Yeah, you know, I would have matched his energy. I'd have jumped through the dirt right with him. I'm telling you right now, I would have jumped <laughs> clean in the dirt right with him. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, but I do. And and then later on, I'll be like, I'm gonna take the high road after I've already went low. <laughs> so I we go low. We go high and you go low. Yes, no, we're gonna go lower. No, Michelle, no, no. Pissed me off. Michelle pissed me off when she said that. I'm gonna keep it real. That statement, if they we go when they go low, we go high. Yeah, that's why we stuck in the same damn situations we always in. Because sometimes you gotta match energy to get your to get results. I do not I don't agree with that. Anyways, after maturing, I really do not give that much energy to people. Like if you disrespect me. And I don't feel like you're worth it, then like it's not gonna eat at my soul. I'm gonna be like, all right, bye, cut you off, the end. Like, I don't need to to put all of that out, get mad at you, be petty, get back at you, whatever, match that in. It just really ain't that important to me. It, I used to be like that, but I just I'm at this place now where peace is is my main goal. So if I don't have to deal with it, I'm not gonna deal with it. It's not I don't even worth peace it. sometimes until I get it out. Like, <laughs> get it out in a healthy way. <laughs> right now, I gotta get it out. Like, I get in sometimes situations, and it's not often because I usually don't surround myself around people that bring that energy. Mm. Now, that's true. That's true. Right. I, the reason why I don't surround myself around people that bring negative energy is because I know I'm gonna match it. So if mm. if you bring it after a while, I'm I'm only gonna ignore you so long before I'll be like, okay, now you've been you've been waiting to get everything that's been, been in my head to come on out. So here it goes. And usually when I go out, I don't I don't come back in until I'm finished because I believe that it, it, it things sit inside of me and then they fester and fester and fester. And now I'm hating you or now I'm not liking you. And now I'm feeling the kind of way every time I see you. And I don't want to feel like that. But if I just cuss you out and move on, then I, I mean, I pretty much feel good. And then I, then I no longer need to match your energy because now you know how I feel. Now you know what I think. And now leave me alone. But that's my toxic trait. 
<laughs> you know what, Chuck? I think that there, when it comes to matching energies, I think there's so, I think you said something so important about like knowing yourself and knowing who you are as a person and, and how you're going to react. A lot of people don't know themselves, but if you don't even surround yourself around them type of people anyway, it's like, okay, I know how I'm going to act. So let me get mm-hmm. myself out of that situation before this get too far. Now, personally for me, I think I'm on the fence. Now, I don't match energy depending on who it is. If it's a man, I know men are ego driven. So I know that person came into that room because they wanted me to see them. I know that dri- that drives men crazy if you're not all over them or pay attention. So I'm like, uh, mm, no. Nah. And on top of that, I know that person's situation. So that person already is not on my level in my eyes. So I'm like, well, society done already beat you down. What I need to beat you down for? I don't need to do that. You're doing that yourself. So I'm not going to match your energy. Society already doing that. My light words are <laughs> taken care of. So I don't, need, I don't need to do that. But if I meet a Karen, I don't, I don't really know. If, if they match it, if they, ma- if they got some energy, I'm going to match it. Because our racism is what I don't play with. Like, I don't play with that. See, that's why I said it's situational. It's really, it's person-based, like Auntie Amber said. It depends on, do I care enough about this person to even pour into it? And it's situational. Because it's certain situations. When I said when I said I was mad about what Michelle Obama said, in the context of what she was saying, it, she was in the political realm, of course, talking about it. And I'm like, if you, you can't continue to play against people in a dirty game and try to be clean about it. It, it just don't work like that. It don't work like that. You're going to have to get in the mud and, and go low with them sometimes to get them to see I ain't the one to play with. And sometimes people attest you. Like, if you don't match energy and you come off as, as that person that's real nonchalant or I'm just going to ignore it, I ain't going to bother. People will push you. And, and people will push you and then wonder why you jumped off the ledge. Like, no, nah, I'm about to match energy because what you're not about to do is have me in a corner somewhere festering and depressed and anxious and mad at myself talking about something I should have said this. No, nah, I'm going to say it now. Then we're going to be done with it. Yeah, I just, I'm a fan of say it now. Um, right. <laughs> I've always been a fan of say it now, though. But I think I, I've learned how to um, I learned how to hone that because when I was younger, everything that touched my brain came straight out my mouth. So now I think like I'm gonna match your energy, and then and, it, and plus it depends on where it takes me to. If it's gonna take me to the end of my career, I might not be doing that. <laughs> but <laughs> if it's gonna take me to where, like oh boy, where you had to get this cuss down. I know society beat them down, but I would have been giving society the bad. I'd have been like, oh, 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 that's where we're at. Is that kind of funny? Now, now I'm speaking your language. You speaking jungle, so am I. But then I would have came out and be like, all right, I'm better than him. Let me stop playing. So I just, I didn't need to. I just, I just, I, I don't know. I just let it go. Like, I'm like, nah, I'm where Amber is at. Like, I just want peace. Like, I, which at this point. What, what what rap lyric said if a woman is beefish or somebody's beefing, they beefing by themselves, that's where I be at. If you beefing, you beefing by yourself. <laughs> Have fun. See, I follow the other rap lyric. I follow the other rap lyric. It's the problem when I do it. <laughs> you know the rap lyric? <laughs> that, that's another rap lyric we can follow. <laughs> I just had as long as I get it out of me, then I'm fine. Then I can go back to going to go be peaceful. But I also laugh a lot of things off, which is how you know my crazy coming too. It's like, <laughs> okay, all right. And then there we are. <laughs> yeah, so I'll be trying to be, I'll be trying to be peaceful. Uh, or I, or if I just get to looking crazy, like I get real quiet and I start looking crazy. It's like, all right, she's about to match this food energy, and then she's gonna go somewhere and go sit down. So I don't know, it is toxic. To be walking around here matching people's energy, especially because you can't clean dirt with dirt. That's what I say. You don't clean dirt with dirt. But um, sometimes you do gotta cuss people out and move on. And you gotta know yourself. Like right now, all the answers all of us gave honestly seem very authentic to who we are and where we're at currently. Like a lot of people will do things, and that's really not who they are. Like you are like it's out of character. Like, don't try to match somebody's energy if that's really not where you're at. Don't try to be at peace and force yourself to believe you at, or to convince yourself you at peace if that's not where you at. Like, so we all are authentic to where we're at right now. Like, Auntie should know you. You know who you are. You know yourself. Mm-hmm. And Amber's like, nah. Like, I'm trying to find peace. I ain't matching all types of energy. I don't need that. And that's cool. I'm situational. It, it just depends. <laughs> 
cool when I do it. <laughs> Listen, it's going to be a problem when I do it. It's going to be a problem when I do it. <laughs> You, no, you I ain't felt like that in years. I haven't felt like I needed to just really like cuss somebody out or like get it up. Okay, aside from my husband, that's a whole different. <laughs> but we're not talking about him. <laughs> we talk about just anybody. Like I really, I don't know. I have conflict with people every now and then, but it's not like I need to match your energy. Like you do this to me, I got to do this back to you. It's more of like, I got to tell you how I feel about something, but I'm not being toxic about it. I don't think. Oh, oh well, I know I know you do this back to me, I do this back to you. It was more so if you have something to say, then let's discuss it. And then I don't know, depending on where you at, is how I'm coming. Right. Is it but is that toxic though? Or is that maturity? I feel growth. like maturity. I think I toxic. think it's maturity. That's maturity. Because like discussing things, like if somebody is if you got an issue with somebody and y'all want to discuss the matter. And it ends up being a cussing out, I mean, I guess. But, I mean, I feel like there's a maturity part of that where you want to discuss that first. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, is that necessarily toxic? I don't, know. I don't think it's toxic. I, I think sometimes matching energy could be I'm matching your level of maturity, I guess is what you're saying. And then other times it's I'm, ma I'm matching your toxic energy. And that's when it's not. That's what I'm not with. I'm not going to do that. That's what I'm going to match. I mean, <laughs> we know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what I'm that's what I'm a match your foolishness. I'm a match your foolishness. <laughs> I mean, I'm, listen, I'm a firm believer. You play stupid games, you win stupid, you win stupid prizes. It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Fuck them, fuck them. Birds of a feather. They fuck together, they make you a sucker. Oh, oh, speaking of games, y'all, let's do a game real quick. I want to do some trivia, mental health trivia, but also. Black community mental health trivia. Y'all ready? Okay. Let's get it. Okay, y'all. So we are going to do some trivia today. Mental health trivia. A couple of things, you know, specifically about the Black community to go with our theme this week. But the winner of the trivia game show today will get the title of Auntie of the Week. Are y'all ready? Yes. <laughs> Shook competitive. Let I me guess. hear it. Are y'all ready? Yes. Yeah. Right, girl. Come on with it. Come on All with right, it. Let's get it. Okay. 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 So first question. Oh, this is an easy one. Um, which mental health disorder is oh. characterized by feelings of sadness? Hopelessness and worthlessness. Depression. Oh, sure, got it. Okay, okay, okay. One point for the auntie sure. Auntie she was sitting close to the screen. That's why you heard her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, auntie sure. Follow up question since you answered that. That that was not a part of the deal. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the question is between African American. You, uh, adults or white adults, who do you think is more likely to have feelings of depression? I'm going to go ahead and blame white folks for two. And the reason why I'm going to blame white folks is because white black people, people don't do that. Black people don't do that. <laughs> no. White people are more apt to admit it. Not that black people don't experience depression, but they're not going in their therapist's office saying, hey, I have feelings of sadness, hopelessness, I haven't slept in two weeks. Yes, I do want to kill myself. Yes, I am tired. Yes, I do move a lot more or I do move a lot less. So slowly that others can see. Um, yeah, I think I might be depressed. Um, yes, I do excessively clean because I am anxiously depressed or I'm depressed mm -hmm. with features of anxiety. Um, I do like to sleep a lot. I do have um, hypersomnia. Um, you know, or insomnia where I just can't sleep at all. So black people don't do that. Okay. Well, <clears throat> based on the statistics from Mental Health America, and I can't find the year of it, um, but actually adult African Americans and black people are more likely to have feelings of sadness, hopelessness, and worthlessness. Is it because they have longer periods of depression through the dysthymia? 
or persistent depressive disorder, they're more likely to be diagnosed with that. So I'm wondering if that's the, if that's the reason. That could be. Yeah. Yep. All right. Y'all ready for question number two? Auntie Suge, I'm sorry. You only have one point from that question. All right. Are we ready for the next one? She explained the point system to us because she just up here calculating. Yeah, I feel like she made oh, it. I got it written down right here. Look, got y'all got y'all ready. We on and popping. Okay. Number mic two. She's cheating. Right. I'm <coughs> trying to educate the people. <laughs> Which was good info, by the way. That was well, great info. That's great info. Yeah, whoever answers first gets the gets the point. Okay, okay let's see. Um which mental health disorder is characterized by oh by episodes of mania bipolar irritability damn bipolar disorder i think keish got it first did you get it ash who I got it first bipolar. i got it first i didn't leave for it like sure i swear I'll keep it forward i'm I'll going with keish because you cut me off i literally had my mic right here i wasn't playing I Okay, okay. Y'all get y'all get a half point. Keisha what get a half question? point. Ash get a half point. Huh? I, well, it was what point. what mental health disorder is characterized by episodes of mania, so that's increased irritability, lots and lots of energy, decreased need for sleep, paired with episodes of major depression. As soon as you said mania, me and Keisha both just said bipolar. <laughs> yeah, I figured y'all would know that one. Okay, so follow-up question. Actually, in order for y'all to get the point. We still get that half point. We still get that half. Put my half down. And that's half as good as mine. <laughs> okay. So, in order to get the point, you have five seconds to name as many symptoms of bipolar disorder as you can. Not five. I'll give you 10 seconds. Whoever can name the most in 10 seconds gets the point. Listen, I, I listen. you catching me off guard. I ain't going to be able to name them. I don't I don't work with okay, this right? pathology. I don't even work with Ten. these people. Do it. Go. 10 seconds. Go. Uh, uh extreme mood swings, um, manic episodes, um hypomania, possible no. hypomania. <laughs> I could not, yeah, no, that was too hard. I don't work with that disorder. That's okay. All right, can you shoot ready? Go. Uh, grandiosity, uh, uh extreme uh, mood swings. Uh, elevated levels. Oh, wait. No, elevated energy levels. There we go. Uh, he both got right. through. Damn, that hell? went fast. <laughs> that right, sure. too. You want to take the cake? I'm going to say something that they did not say. Okay? Wait, wait, wait. Do you want to do, do you want to get the point with 10 seconds? I just feel that point? Yes, yes you can. Okay. Ready? Set. What kind of rule? Go. go. Okay. Um, talking so fast. Um, uh, Flight of ideas. Extreme mood swings, extreme long periods of depression. Um, that's it. Done. Flight of ideas. Flight of ideas. Yeah, where yeah, you're kind of all over. Flight of ideas. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, she'll get the point for that one. Where is my DSM? This is a conspiracy against us. Actually, I'm convinced. <laughs> it's clearly <laughs> conspiracy. Is that up? Y'all know I got my five four bipolar people. <laughs> you you ever asking the question? She know I work with these people. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. So Shook has two points. Ashley, That's a couple question. You have a half a point, and Keisha you got a half a point. All right. We ready for the next question? We're gonna go for two more questions, and we. I'll be on you at a week. She go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh God. Okay. Women are the heads of households in roughly what percent? Of black and African American homes compared 70. to nine percent of white homes. Seventy. Seventy, Ashley, what'd you say, Keish? Seventy. Seventy. Suge, what'd you say? Eighty. Eighty. The answer is thirty percent of black what? and African American homes. Okay. Thirty percent. Thirty percent. Keish is closest to the number. That's how they would do it on the prices, right? We close. Just give them a half a point. They need it. Okay, y'all get a half a point. All right. Should give it that to y'all. The question was women, women. women are the heads of household in roughly 30% of Black and African American homes compared to 9% of white homes? So there's more women that are head of the households in Black homes. In, in Black homes than in white homes. But it's only 30%. We was high up in them numbers. We just... Yeah. Because that's the, that's, that's the number they keep floating around. They Clearly, keep we got to change the numbers. That. 
we're gonna check the statistics. All right, I'll put yeah. some uh, disclaimers on here if they incorrect, but it is a it is a reliable source. So oh, okay, and they have statistics it. from um, SAMHSA, from the census, the uh, U.S. census, it. and all of that. Yeah. So I had to check to make sure before we did that. Okay. Well, I'm talking about like the seventy percent, like who, like who keep floating that number around? Unless it's an old number. It's like, an old number, probably. Okay. Uh, it's an outdated number. Okay. And you know, and you know, certain people in society love sticking to outdated numbers when it comes to black yeah. people. I was and gonna say, in our in our heads, we think black women, but it's like ah, uh, in a lot of households there are. There's a dad. Men that that are running the households too, but we just all automatically assume that. That's where we still are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And but think about exposure. Like, what do we hear about a lot? What do we see in the media all the time? All we're hearing about is broken homes in the black community, mm -hmm. broken homes, broken homes. Black single. So of mother. course you assume the mother or the woman is the head of household in most 70% because that's all we see. We don't get to see in the media the good parts of it where there are that doesn't sound right. We don't get to see in media where there are the, the two parent homes and the father's present like we don't we just they don't show that a lot so right. mm -hmm. yeah okay last question between black or african-american teenagers and white teenagers who is more likely to attempt suicide white i said black keish got it for the win whoop whoop one point all right keish you ready for your follow-up question Cause, yeah, because black people don't do that, right? Black but people they don't do that. They do. And I only know that because I just went to the African American conference. Oh, oh dang. dang. She got the two cold. She had an edge. And those stats are up to date. So that's how I know. There we go. Okay, so now, Keish, you actually have the opportunity to take the win for Auntie of the Week. This is your follow up question. Are you ready? Yeah. And y'all tied at two points. She's going to have more points than you if she get it. Where'd she get another point from? She was just at a negative half point. <laughs> Why nobody had no negative you shot? No negative? You, just, you just gave her a point for something earlier. You said just give him the point. Take it That's back. <laughs> hey, that was you. You <laughs> thought of giving me the half point. Thank you. So I'm gracious. Sorry people. for people. How kind. All right. You ready, Kish? Okay. Right. Okay. So between Black people and white people, who is more likely to die by suicide? And this is all ages. Die by suicide? Mm -hmm. Ooh. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to go with white men. So this is, it, it's not gender. It's oh, just it's not gender. general. It's yeah. race. I'm going to go with white. Wait, you said by suicide, right? Die yeah, by suicide. Die by suicide. more likely to die by suicide? I'm going to go with white. And you are going to be right. Guess what, Keish? What? <laughs> you have won. Auntie, Auntie of the Week! Week! Okay, I'm going to need to go off camera because she's going to be looking at where I stand. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think fast like that. Y'all gonna kill me in this, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> Amber ain't never gonna be Auntie of the Week. <laughs> Watch okay. me beat your ass next week. I'm ready. Yeah, you match it I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. All you gotta do is black movie trivia and you lost. Amber, <laughs> you're supposed to be on this piece jerk. Oh, no. Keith, don't you ever do black. We're not allowed to do <laughs> Are we not allowed to do a topic? It's banned. Black <laughs> movie we get your black trivia movie trivia? It's banned. Not as banned. Y'all don't have these people thinking I am the non-blackest black person in the history of black people. Amber is like immediately no. Immediately. immediately. <laughs> I will be gone. I'll be sick that week. <laughs> Who is um most likely to be the head of a household in an African American home. Mother. Actually, no. It's equal to egalitarian. What? <laughs> egalitarian. Okay. I'm like that ain't how you respond. This is not correct. <laughs> no, Here, I I do. Hispanic people. <laughs> you was gonna say that? Okay. Is he playing music out there, y'all? <laughs> Nice. And he knows. Not Marcus's head going to be knocked in between the washer. Okay, wash. he's staying his head knocked between the washer and the dryer. Hold on. 
I was just like, somebody can say, shut the hell up. <laughs> and I hate to win every week, y'all. Oh, it God. Just, it just be sad. <laughs> Here you go. Girl, depending on what we're talking about, you might not win every week. It would just be sad, oh. depressing. And I don't want none of y'all to feel like that because I, it's not my goal. <laughs> Me and Amber is at peace, so we're not going to feel that. 